hi everyone you welcome back to my channel i'm sarah on today's video i'll be showing you how to cut and sew this bucket hat with anchor fabric if you're new to the channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so guys let's get into it so to cut this bucket hat the first thing we will cut in is the crown when i mean the crown is that cycle on top of the bucket hat so to cut that to cut it the first thing you have to do is to measure round your head circumference the head circumference i'm working with is 22 and this 22 after measuring the your head circumference you now divide it by 6.28 as if you want to cut the flay after dividing my 22 by 6.28 it gives me 3.5 so now you can see my pattern paper here the first thing i will do is to fold this into two like this you can see the way i fold in my pattern paper this way and the next we have to do is to fold into four as if you want to cut a flay a tv60 degree flay that's how you fold your pattern paper you can see now i have this angle here this is what you have if you fold your pattern paper very well so after folding like this the next we have to do now is to drop the 3.5 i have after dividing my head circumference by 6.28 you can see what i have here 3.5 i'll mark 3.5 here i will come here also you make sure your tape is at this angle here and mark 3.5 I'll come to this end and mark 3.5. This is it. Now, make sure I connect these lines together. So now, I'll cut this out. So now, this is the crown. We we'll label this A. Now, we we'll keep this pattern paper aside. We're getting the crown. The next we have to do now is to get the body. So now you divide your head circumference by 2. My head circumference is 22. 22 divided by 2 will give me 11. So now I'll mark 11 here. You have to determine how wide you want the um, body to be. I'll be making use of 3 inches for the body. 3 inches by 11. Now connect this line together. So now I'm done cutting the body the next we have to do now is to divide this into four so first i will divide into two first so now we have 5.5 now i'll divide this 5.5 by two you can see now we now have into four so let me mark this down so now we slash this we do the slash and spread method now do the same thing here you can see now you don't cut through this is it now spread it on another pattern paper first thing i have to do i will use my paper tape to hold the paper down on this end here so now to spread this i will spread in the paper by half inches i'll open it by half inches here and tape this down open by half inches Then I'll open this other one to us on by half inches. So after taping this down, now trace it with my marker pen. I'm done tracing this out. Now cut, cut it out. It's in the body. Now label this the body, which is B. Now we're getting A and B. Now for the C, what we have to do is to check what we have. You know, this is the up of the um body then this is the down of the body which is the m so now check what i have there i have 12.5 so now i will cut out another pattern paper which i've already did i've cut out another pattern paper which the length is by 12.5 and the width is by tv inches fold it like this this is the first fold one fold like this second time we are folding the paper then this is the third time 
you can see now you fold into three times now slash this paper i fold so you not cut it finish so you can spread it then i'll do the same thing on this angle so come with the slashing you can see how it looks now I'll spread this on another pattern paper so now I'll spread this on this pattern paper we used to spread the first one the body now I'll do the same thing now i'll pin this down here spread this by 0 0.75 this is half inches you can see this is half inches then this line in between half inches and one inch is 0 0.75 so now I'll just mark 0 0.75 here and tape down. I'll do the same thing to the remaining of the flay 0 0.75. I'm done with the taping. Now I will trace this then cut out. Okay, I'm done with cutting the flay. This is the flay, which is C. This is the crown, this is the body, and this is the flake. So now I'll cut this on my fabric. I'll be using this anchor fabric to cut out my cap and this bridal satin as the lining. So now I'll cut it out and tell you what next to do. So guys, I'm done with the cutting of the actual fabric and the lining. You can see this is my a which is the crown and this is b the body and this is c the flay so now i've gone ahead also to cut out my hair stay that i will gum on the actual fabric and on the lining now let me go and gum my hair stay to the actual fabric and tell you what next to do so guys i'm done with the gumming of my hair stay to the actual fabric this is it the crown when you cut please make sure it's the 3.5 don't add same allowance to it if not so it will be bigger than the body you can see mine is still 3.5 after cutting and adding my estate to it after doing that now you fold your crown into two like this and you give it a launch at this end like this so now keep this the next thing we have to do now is to go i'll go to the machine i'll be joining the body on half inches i will join the flay also on half inches i'm done with the joining of the side of the body and i've opened my seam you can see the way i open the seam with my machine so now the next we have to do you make sure you launch the side of the body the center of the body and you know we've already launched the two sides of the crown i will use the this as a guide and pin down then on this side we have the launch i will mark there two like this also and pin so now I'll go to the sewing machine i will sew this round the crown show you what it looks like so guys i'm done with the sewing of the body to the crown this is the inside you can see how it is so now the next we have to do is to join the flay to the body i'll make sure this joining here is facing each other i will join the flay on half inches round the body this way like this i'll go and sew this on half inches round the body i'll do this and do the same thing also on the lining Guys, I'm done with the joining of the body to the flay. You can see how the cap is looking now. This is it. And I've done the same thing also on the lining. So now the next we have to do is to join the actual fabric and the lining together on half inches. Joining at the side of the actual fabric and the joining at the side of the lining is facing each other like this. And I'll pin down. I'll pin this down so now to sew this i will leave like two inches gap from here like this this place i will not sew this place i chalk like this i will not sew from here and yeah 
I'll start sewing round from this place I mark here, I'll sew round to this side and stop. This place I leave, we use it to turn it to the front of the cap. So now let me go and sew it and show you guys what it looks like. Along with the sewing of the lining and the flay, you can see I left this opening. I didn't sew to this opening here, it's two inches. So now I'll use it to turn it to the front like this. So guys, I'm done turning this to the front. You can see this is the allowance we left to turn it to the front. You can see how it looks inside and this is the Ankara part. This is the joining. Now, I would use Emmy gum to secure this. Then I will go and sew this on half inches around the cap like this. I'll just sew one round. You can see I sew on half inches round. This is the outside. And you can either turn it to this other side, the black side, the satin, to put this on. So thank you guys for watching. See you on my next video. God bless you.